Hot damn, do I have some big, big DCEU news for you. And here's how it all went down. Here I was editing movie math for this week when suddenly I was flooded from multiple sources. There was a very big Birds of Prey story dropping tomorrow, Monday. But I didn't just hear there was a story, the details started to pour in. And then one of my sources asked me a very interesting question saying, Grace, are you gonna wait until this news officially debuts tomorrow? Or are you gonna do a video about it right now? And I was like, oh yeah, duh. Why wait until tomorrow what we can talk about today? So are you ready for a scoop? It is again, a very big Birds of Prey story. Not only in that it's a surprise, but the, the wealth of information. So, no Barbara Gordon, not even civilian Barbara Gordon. Instead, we're getting Cassandra Cain Batgirl. But that's not all, that's far from all. But when it comes to Cassandra Cain, they're doing Cassandra Cain Jr. X-23 style. That's right, they're actually gonna take on Logan. You're very ambitious, Margot Robbie slash DCEU. I hope it works for you. Now, Harley and her girl gang are going to save uh, Cassandra, although she'll be an expert assassin already. As she, well, in the comics, you know, this was her backstory all along, but no one met her until she was at least pretty far into being a teenager. But they will save her from the warped training of her father, assassin David Kane, who is the villain of the film. Now this matches up with what I heard in Los Angeles, which I can now tell you officially. Margot Robbie took, and Warner Brothers let her, the idea of saving a young girl from Gavin O'Connor's Suicide Squad 2. That's what he was gonna do. Maybe it was even Cassandra Kane, and the team had to save her, uh, uh, you know, uh, from David Kane. But, and now it's gonna go in the Birds of Prey movie, at which Margot Robbie is producing. Again, she was like, good idea, Gavin Connor. You wink <laughs> again. Warner Brothers was like, sorry, Gavin O'Connor, you just have to come up with another storyline. Although, it kind of works. But let me, let me, I have more information for you before we discuss how we feel about it. So who will the Birds of Prey be? Well, apparently, they will be Black Canary, Huntress, pause for those of you who are cheering, that's the OG members, right? But there will also be Katana, really? I mean, she's been on the team lately. DC's really pushing her across the board. And I don't really think she's worked so far. Maybe she'll speak in this movie. That would be nice. And then also Lady Shiva. Oh, I love that so much. Now again, that's the OG lineup for Birds of Prey, minus one very important member, Barbara Gordon, who actually co-founded the team with Black Canary. So that's what, that's what we're gonna talk about first. How are fans gonna feel about Harley Quinn seemingly taking the Barbara Gordon spot? Ouch, especially considering, you know, this is the Joker's girlfriend taking Barbara's storyline, so wow. Now that's insult to injury within the world of DC, but outside, I don't know how fans will feel uh, about the team losing, first of all, it's techie commander, you won't have that element. You know, maybe they'll come up with another character, although it's seeming pretty crowded to me already. Unless maybe, I don't know, you can't put Huntress behind a desk. I mean, her name is Huntress. She has to hunt. Uh, so I, you know, I think a big, fun part of the Birds of Prey storylines have always been Barbara Gordon, you know, um, the, 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 uh, the bird eye in the sky, you know, seeing things from a tech perspective, you know, giving out commands. That was, that was fun. But then also from an emotional standpoint, Barbara Gordon founded, co-founded Birds of Prey to help reclaim her life after the Joker paralyzed her. So taking the team away from her, and again, you know, for Harley, it's kind of not cool. And I think at the very least on social media, I wouldn't be surprised if this erupts tomorrow, uh, people are gonna be upset that they ditched the paraplegic character. It's not funny, but it's funny in that Warner Brothers, you know, it's like, how, did that, how does that not occur to them that that might be the reaction? You know, and they're gonna get hit hard, as potentially, you know, they should. Because it's, Barbara, I guess they haven't done that whole storyline which I said was a problem with Barbara Gordon. You know, the most interesting thing takes a lot of setup, but I don't know. 
we'll talk about well let's let's actually go into Gotham City Sirens right now. Now all, all the casting of these characters is going to start in earnest now that you know they they're they're ready to go. Uh, and I think these are amazing roles for actresses, by the way, and this is going to be a very hot product, uh, project to join. Even if these are not the anticipated and hoped for characters of Poison Ivy and Catwoman. And I don't know why Harley Quinn is joining the Birds of Prey over the Gotham City Sirens. Because Gotham City Sirens has better brand recognition. Gotham is in the name. It sounds sexy and uh, exciting, right? But what's Birds of Prey to mainstream moviegoers? It certainly doesn't have any connection to, to the DCEU at, you know, at face value. I mean, maybe, obviously, Warner Brothers will have to educate everybody, but it seems like an unnecessary hurdle. And I guess Harley really is going full anti-hero, which I also have mixed feelings about. I love when she operates in the gray zone. Maybe this whole Birds of Prey team will operate in the gray zone, but that's what the got. They just basically, I don't know. The Gotham, Gotham City Sirens did. You had two great female teams. I don't understand why you wouldn't continue to do that instead of kind of messing up both to some degree. We'll see. Uh, now, I'm not too keen on ripping off Logan, right? And good luck doing as good as or a better job uh, than that film did. That's gonna, I would not want to have comparisons to Logan. And I don't love female superheroes having to do adventures and babysitting. But with director Kathy Yan's visual flair, I'm starting to see like a John Wick, uh, you know, Chad Stileski style movie, and Margot Robbie's very charming Harley Quinn. She's a great Harley Quinn. I've really come to like her in the role. And this all-female lineup doing amazing action in exotic locales, it could be pretty darn good. At least irresistible, right? I'm thinking a feminist sucker punch. And you know what else is interesting? BVS, the announcement of Batman v Superman, led to Kevin Feige agreeing to do Civil War. So just maybe, if there's enough hype about this Birds of Prey movie, he'll make the A-Force movie, which I think it's becoming clearer and clearer he should be doing instead of a solo Black Widow film. I hope so! We get two for one! It'll be so exciting! Um, although DC is like, why do you want to have us compete with another Marvel movie? Who would do it better? This is a pretty good package. I think it would be great if they were both good movies. So, uh, while this isn't the movie that we expected, what do you think? Uh, share your thoughts down below. Expect the official announcement uh, or breaking story tomorrow, right? And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.